Welcome to Oxpoon, the Techno Magazine with Wolfgang Rudolph. Hello and a very warm welcome. Today is all about, I'll show you with my hands. Sound. I have made a shockwave. A shockwave moves at about 340 meters per second at 20 degrees Celsius in water quicker by 1484 meters per second. In vacuum, when a spaceship flies by, not at all. That's what you see in science fiction films, is fantasy from some authors. You hear nothing, there's no carrying medium there, no air, no water, no metal, or anything like it. And this sound we have to measure. We talk about sound about 40 to 60 dB, the normal talking range. Much louder should your TV not be. Jets up to 130 dB, and this 130 dB, by just once being heard, causes permanent hearing loss. When we permanently have around us 85 dB, then that can cause permanent hearing loss too. That means we have to measure sound, monitor sound, and that's what the law insists on. And that is good so. Sound we have to talk about because it is loud, quiet, slow, high, deep. We humans hear certain frequencies better as other frequencies, so that we understand each other better, which from time to time works. So I will show it to you now. I have brought an oscilloscope with me and a microphone, turn up the preamplifier and you can see straight away on the oscilloscope when I talk, we have to turn up the sensitivity and you can see that what I speak is an electrical signal on the screen, that's more optic actually. What is volume? If you watch the curve, how it fidgets, it is quiet and then louder. I will reconnect it to my music player. It is easier to see and easier to talk about. So now I have to turn it down again naturally. So now you can see a funny fidgeting. There's singing, music is made, it is louder, and then it's quieter, then someone screams, there's a break in the middle. How can I judge that? That means I can only judge this volume when I put it into a time window. And then calculate the average. See, there's a break in between. The next music peak comes, and quietly it starts, and is soon much louder. So and now every disco owner would say, to keep the laws in, I can take a quiet part. And the next door neighbor says, I will take the louder parts that come. That's the why they have standardized it. We have a tendency to A, that is to our hearing chorus. It used to be A, B, C, D, Z. But nowadays, all that is important is A and C for aircraft noise. And that is the curve that our ears are modeled. And then we have the time lapse, an eighth of a second, one time. That is the quick resolution, fast is written behind it, and one second, and that is slow. It used to have 35 microseconds, but that's out now. That means you measure this noise A in a certain time lapse B, so that you can compare them with others to say. That is in the allowed area of this norm. And for this, we need to devices natural, which are incorruptible, and they measure in a certain time lapse what happens and how often and we humans just cannot do this you need a measuring technique for this and they are nice here i have a sound level meter pce sdl1 a little handy device which is delivered with this stand and i've already attached it to my computer also the software is delivered with it and when we look at the computer you can already see that when I talk it is shown, graphically shown. And I can also record this, such as these curves and later load them back up. I can zoom in on them, pick out different areas, analyze them and can naturally, as a table format, the recorded data processes. So a little handy device which works in the area of 30 to 130 dB with an exactness of 1.4 dB. 
It is operated with a tiny battery, 3.6 volt lithium ohm. It can depend on what sort of intervals are recorded, up to 24 hours high, not just once every 24 hours recording, but last up one year. Naturally, I can use it with a computer, without a computer. All I have to do is unplug it and put the protection cover onto it. And then I can mount it anywhere to a wall or so, or stand it somewhere. Also, if I take off the stand, I can hold it in my hand and walk through a machine hall or such. All the data is stored internally. And I can store 129,920 signal values recording. And when I am finished measuring, I can go back to the computer, plug it in, then load the data up, save it, work with it, or whatever. So a very small device, which is used very flexibly in this area. The PC STL1 to monitor noise in firms and companies. I have here the sound level meter PC322A, a sound level meter which means I can measure volume with it, it is battery operated, a very nice big easy to read LC display, with lots of settings, I count from up to 31.5 to 8 kHz signals measure, record, save and later revaluate. I can set it to A which is human hearing or C which is aircraft noise. The microphone I can take off and use an extension cable to measure somewhere else. And the rest you can see. Up to 30 continuous measurements with the changeable 9 volt battery. And you can see here when I get a little louder, we have a very quick display. 0.5 seconds is the update function. It saves 260,000 measuring points, which you can read later. That is good. Now I'll show you when I attach it to a computer that the data live and direct to the computer go. Just open the lid and I have the connection point, the USB connection. The computer has recognized it and now we can see on the computer that we have a live display. On the left side is the device with the symbol shown. There I can see the value live and we also get a curve and I can see what actually happens now. I can save all that and later as a spreadsheet work on it, so a device which doesn't leave a wish undone. For me myself it is very good. I know I have an old one and I am always astounded how things progress. The switching from A to C is done over the keyboard. I can switch from fast to slow, that is all shown in the display. I also have a bar display next to the numerical display. Time and date is also shown in the display. So yeah, all wishes done. A device which fits into every situation, a device that can solve all problems in the noise area I want to solve. In many noise burdened areas, it is necessary to have a built in device that monitors the noise. That could be in a disco, in a machine hall, by the railway, for the neighbours who complain about traffic noise, or the such. 
The application is infinite. Here I have a sound level meter, the PC SLT, and this device, which you can see, is already working. It consists of three units. One is the display and programming unit. That is the monitor and the controller. Then the so-called transmitter. That is the device that can be fixed in separately from the other unit. And attached to that is this microphone. And the microphone itself you can also fit in. You can put a screw through here and fix it to the wall or so. That is all. I can set the level and so forth. And maybe you can see here there's the LED and the possibility to fine adjust. So the device itself would be built in somewhere. What can you do with it? You can regulate the volume somewhere and I also have an alarm out. And when I have something like that, I will show it to you. And when I go here on set, then it says control low. Control high and alarm low. So now alarm low. It says here at 30, but that is not interesting. Alarm high, so that is at 60. So now we go here onto whatever, like 59. So now I'm quiet. And as soon as I say something and we go over the 59, the display blinks. That is the first sight. And also this LED is turned on. And when I am quiet again, and when I speak, it goes on. And onto this alarm, I have attached my roundabout lamp. So now I have to be quiet again. And now when I say something, the alarm lights turn on, which is very sensible. When a lot of noise is there and an alarm lights up like this, then you know too much noise could be over a long period of time hazardous to health. When you set a level of 85 dB, it would be around the right level, so back off. So now try to set the alarm high. That it doesn't always go off. If I hold the key, it goes quicker. I have lots of other possibilities to set it. I can set the comma after the digit, fine adjust, and so forth. I put it up to 75 dB. So now I have to be much louder so that it hears me. Like now I am very loud, as you can see, and now quieter. The operating is very easy and it is very important device for the health and if we want to keep our hearing. So here we have all three devices built up. Start with this one, that is the PC SDL1, a device without a display but can save a lot of data, which you can later on a computer save, work with or analyze. It is very flexible and thought of as a long time measurer, up to one year when you make a daily measurement. The next one, that is the PC 322A, with a very big and nice display. Lots of measurements like the device before, at A and C, and of course both can fast and slow. That is always there to value the signal. The stands are delivered with both devices. This device is operated with a 9V battery, of course not for permanent recording, it is more for direct recording, direct measuring and direct reading, even though it can do exactly what the other can. And last we have here the sound level meter, PCE SLT. 
That consists of many parts. First of all, a command unit with the display on it. Then the transmitter, which converts the signal from the microphone, which is connected. It records it on an overface, transfers it to the command unit. And with this, it is possible to regulate something, control something. It has two control outs and also an alarm out that it can directly control a siren or a warn lamp. Three devices that are for health consciousness, which the law make us like to see. There are limits which have to be kept, and everyone that has to do with such things should have a look at them.